Hello, welcome to a computer tutoring training session, a tutorial on Publisher. This time we're going to have a look at page numbers in Publisher. We're also going to have a look at sections as well and how we can insert or add page numbers in Publisher 2016. Now, why do I say sections? Well, it employs that as well, and I think you want to get the whole lot out of it. So I've got this document here. If you want to know how to create this document I've got available, then you can have a look at my guides, uh, the computer tutoring guides tutorial uh, with uh, on YouTube, which would be great, or on whatever video platform you're watching this on. Um, you can have a look at that. Uh, now, I want to put page numbers in. Now, if you look on the right-hand side, oh, sorry, get my left and my right mixed up. On the left-hand side here, you can see I have a page number just there, but if I look at the bottom of the page just here, there's no page number. So what do I do to add my page number in? Well, very simply, I can go to Insert from the tab here at the top. So click on the Insert tab, uh, and then I can go to page number and then I can decide where I want to put my page number so I'm just put mine at the bottom center uh, so we can put that at the bottom center now one of the things is if it doesn't appear as you can see with my document it doesn't appear it may be that we don't have a master page applied to that so very quickly the way we can do that is go to page design master page and I'm going to click on master page a so you can see this drop down list just over here on the right hand side that I can click on for master pages, master page A, that's fantastic. And now you can, if you look at the very bottom of the screen just here, you can see that the one is selected. If you need to adjust it a little bit, say it's not lining up with your actual document, as you can see here, then you would have to go to edit the master pages. So you can go to the master pages and edit master pages, and then you would have to click and adjust this a little bit, maybe use the arrow keys on the keyboard to bring it down, maybe bring it a little bit to the left hand side, maybe use guides to line that up uh, as well. So it might be worthwhile dragging a guide out and making sure that this ruler guide on the uh, vertical ruler, if I remember, it's about 18. If I set that at 18, let's clear that one there. That's good. So now I can just line this one up like so, and that one up like so. Let's just bring it down a tad like so. That's great, close the master page, have a quick look, and now my page number's a little better lined up. It's not perfect, but uh, well, I'll have to just practice that a little bit and get that sorted. Great, so far, so good. Now, say for instance you have two pages in your document. So over here, if we're gonna go to insert, just at the top, so if you click up the insert just here, and then what you're gonna do is you're going to click on this new page button just here, and then that adds a new page in your document, it's just at the bottom. Uh, I'm just going to drag this up to the top, just click on my new page here, and what I'm going to do is just draw a, drag a nice big text box on that page, so uh, let's have a look here, if I go insert, text box, oh, there's a big text box on the page just here, and in that text box I'm going to type in main contents, and it's going to highlight that and make the text big, let's have a look, see what fonts I've got here, so let's click on the drop down list, uh, let's have a look here, oh, there's quite a few here, Disco night, what's that look like? Oh dear, that looks absolutely terrible. Uh, American captain, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, I'll just make it a tiny little bigger. Brilliant. So that's the main contents of our document and with that table of contents and that type of thing. However, please note, if I look now at the bottom, that is page one. If I scroll down to another document here, I can see that is page two, and I don't want that. I want the colored page, this one to be page one, and this page to be the contents page. Maybe use some Roman numerals like I, 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 V. Where do you get the idea? So how do I do that? Well, you accomplish this by using sections. And this is where you'd use sections in Publisher 2016. So, so right click on this second page here because we want to create a new section in Publisher 2016. So right click, we're going to go to and click on insert section. That's great. So just as a recap for that, just zoom back go over here onto the left hand side. All right, just on the left, right click, and then we go to insert section and click on insert section. Great, that's fine. So now that we've uh, uh, put our insert section in there, what we can do is we can change our page numbers. So if we right click, go to page numbers, and then format page numbers that you can see just at the bottom, just uh, there, so our format page numbers, give that a click. And now we're going to start this session or this section with number one. So you can see number one. 
That's great. Click on OK. Uh, brilliant. And so now what we can do is if we go back up to the top to the main contents, right click, go to page numbers, format page numbers, we can start this with one. But the page format here, if I just look at this, I want to change that. I don't want one, two, three. I'm going to go for the little lowercase Roman numeral. So let's click on that there. That's great. Click on OK. And now I can see the first page has Roman numerals on it if you look very closely. Well done. Fantastic. And then if I look at the second page just down here, I can see that's number one. And if I want to, I can go to insert and add another page. And if I go to the next page here and drag down, that's number two and so on and so on. So I hope that made sense with adding page numbers in Publisher 2016. It also employs sections as well. Um, please subscribe if you haven't yet done so. We'll add more videos. And uh, please give this a thumbs up. Give it a like if you've got anything out of this. It would be really, really appreciated. Also, if there's any comments as well, if there's anything that you think that's lacking, think I, things I can add, um, please let me know. And I'll do my best to employ them in the next videos. Thanks for all the comments. Uh, notice also I've got a different introduction as well. Not so much of the music in the background to make it nice and clear. Hopefully you can understand uh, me a little clearer. Thank you so much for watching.